So let's start with the first question here. Who in our organization has access to this admin center in Office 365? Well, this is something called the user admin rights, okay? How do we get to them and how do we assign an administrator this level of access? On the left-hand side here, we have users. We're gonna click on active users. And this shows us here the list of all the users uh, currently available under Office 365. We can add users, you know, do the basic management that you would expect from a user, delete users, etc. However, what we can also do is click on a user. So for example, I'm gonna click on myself here and we'll see here one of the properties is called roles. And you can see here that roles is set to global administrator. And if I click on edit right next to it, we see three options. The first option here is no admin access. The second is global ad administrator. And the third is customized administrator. So what is a global administrator? Well, quoting from Microsoft, a global administrator accesses all administra administrative features in Office 365 suite of services in your plan, including Skype for Business. But by default, the person who signs up, by, the, by default, the person who signs up for Office 365 is the global administrator. So it's the top level that you can be as an administrator in Office 365. Global admins are the only admins who can assign other admin roles, okay? You can have more than one global administrator. So we'll show you how to add somebody else right now. So remember, this is very privileged access and you have to be very careful who you give this to and not give it if it's not necessary. And this is where you see now customized administrator. Now, in this scenario, I am uh, the global administrator and I'm logged in as myself, so I can't really take away rights while I'm logged in. So what I'm gonna do is cancel out of that and come out of here. And I'm gonna try to assign, say, test user. Um, customize administrator rules, and if we click on it, you will see here that there are subdivisions of administrators, such as billing administrator, somebody who you want just to manage billing, somebody who you just want to manage exchange here, for example. So you check the area that you want the administrator to take care of and they're done. They won't be able to uh, tamper with anything else outside of that scope. Okay, and some neat things here are password admi administrators, okay, uh, SharePoint administrators, and user management administrators, right? People that can add or remove users, but really nothing else. And it's critical that as an administrator, you know all those levels of access.